Hi guys and welcome back for another video. My name is Aisha or Ice Cream if you're new to my channel and I post videos once a week. Um, I went on holiday a few weeks ago so I kind of didn't have any videos up for like three, four weeks so I do apologise. Um, but I'm going to be trying to be consistent again. So once a week, so I post either on a Sunday or a Tuesday, it just kind of depends on when I get time to film and edit and all that stuff. Um, so I'm going to jump straight back into the how to tie different scarf series that I started last year and I just kind of was so inconsistent with it I just didn't keep up with it um but yeah I'm going to get straight back into it starting with this video so this isn't the style so the video as you can see from the title is how to style different ways to style a square scarf so this is the square the square scarf that I'm probably going to be using for all the styles and I got this a long long time ago from H&M and I absolutely love 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 this scarf the material is beautiful this the kind of style the design on it is so so nice um so yeah that's what i'm going to be using and show you a few different ways to style a square scarf and it's not a massive one either so you can get a lot of styles out of it still and if you like this style i'm currently wearing head over to my instagram ice cream one and you'll see a tutorial for this and no doubt it will be on youtube soon as well but yeah it's cute i like it and this was achieved using a crinkle scarf and it will most likely feature in my different ways to style a, a different ways to style a crinkle scarf youtube video when i get around to doing that so without further ado let's get straight into the styles okay so this first style uses a chiffon scarf and a and the square scarf so you put the chiffon scarf on your head first and I started talking and I thought, nah, forget that, I'm going to do a voiceover. So don't mind my lips moving. Okay, so just noticed a little thread, got to pull that off, of course. So yeah, put it on your head. The two sides just need to be the same length, like so. And then you just one, two, flip it over, just as I have done there. And then this is where the magic happens. You get your square scarf, fold it in half, and then you're gonna tie it around the front of your head. Okay, so just put that on like so, and then simply tie a knot at the front on top of the chiffon scarf, like I'm doing. So tie a knot, and then tie another knot, and then tie a third knot and then just tuck it all in till you have this kind of like top knot type thing and just tidy it up as you want it to be tidied up. <laughs> okay. And then just neaten things up and you are done. This is super simple, but I think it's so chic. Do you agree? Let me know down below what you think to style number one. Okay, so this is how this one looks. Beautiful, wonderful. If I do say so myself. And if you feel like being really extra, you can just let this loose and just go wherever the wind takes you, like that. I play too much. Okay, I really do play too much. <laughs> okay, anyway. The next style is, I can't remember what this style is. Oh yeah, this is just an easy like top roll thing. So the base again is the same as the first style we just did. The only difference is there's no chiffon scarf underneath. So tie it around the front like this, tidy it up tidy it up a bit and then you simply need to take the long bit back take the long bit back and literally just tuck it under itself and you saw that I just tucked away the like little bit that was sticking out at the bottom so that's just to make things neater um, but yeah literally just tuck that bit it's kind of like a bit of a roll top type thing and then just take the two side pieces to the back and tie them I don't know why I don't show it but yeah, you just tie it and then tuck it into the side, kind of like I've shown you there. Well, not kind of, like I've shown you there, I just didn't show it very well. <laughs> okay, and you get this little, I don't know why this reminds me of the Smurfs, <laughs> but anyway, I like this style, it's really cute. So simple, so, so simple. And yeah, that's that style there. Next 
next one again like i said the base for the majority of these are the same so you start by tying a knot at the front of your head neaten things up a bit as you go and then this one is like a side fringe type thing so literally just take that middle bit and you're just going to put it to the side and tuck it in so it kind of forms a bit of a fringe it's literally that simple and then you just take the other two sides give them a twist and then tie them at the back and tuck them in it's so simple but yeah i think this is quite a nice style quite different what do you guys think i want you to let me know down below in the comment section what you guys think of this um of the styles let me know which one your favorite style is okay so the next style again same base tie a knot at the front of your head yada 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 you get the drift and then just take the two sides to the back and tie them okay just tie them i've tied it in a double knot there and then just tucked it away and then you just need to kind of i don't know, like flip that back on itself until you kind of out of fabric and then just tuck it into one of the side pieces and then I actually like that V bit with the black border I think it looked really cool actually so you could totally rock it like that that was not what I was planning on doing and um, but you can totally do that it looks really cool actually when I showed my mom she was like oh that looks nice and I thought well, it does doesn't it at the time I wasn't too sure if it looked ridiculous or not but it really looks nice actually but what I would have done is just to tuck it under but like I said, I did actually like the black bit, so I totally could have done, like, left it out like that as well. Okay, and there you have it, another super simple style. Literally no pins, and it took, what, 20 seconds to do. <laughs> okay, and now for the next style, which is... Oh yes, I love this one. This is very, very like old school, like classy. So this time you put the scarf over your head like this. So not tying it at the front this time. And you want the two sides to be the same length and then you just cross the two sides over, take it to the back and then just tie a little bow at the back. And oh, how beautiful. And you know what? I really like the back like this. This is perfect. But then I went and tucked it in as you'll see shortly. But I actually preferred it tucked out, um, left out. So you can totally tuck it in if you want, which I think it looks all right. But I actually do think it looked much better, a lot kind of more chic when it was untucked. Um, but yeah, so that's this style. This reminds me of like very, it's very like Marilyn Monroe, like that kind of era. Absolutely love it. Beautiful. Yeah, I was really happy with that one very very nice very very nice and i think it really works really beautifully with this scarf as well and you can see how it just it's so perfect like oh it just looks so nice <laughs> i just really like this style so so much and then because i am hashtag team extra obviously i gotta stick some uh, sunglasses on my head does anybody else do this and just put sunglasses on their head just as an accessory i literally love doing this <laughs> i think it just adds something to an outfit right am i the only one who thinks that i'm sure i'm not but you know maybe i am who knows let me know down below but yeah okay so the next style is one that was on my instagram tutorials so if you don't follow me on instagram make sure you do so that you don't miss any tutorials i do weekly tutorials on a saturday okay so this is going back to the original base so tying the scarf at the front and then you just need to push that middle bit to the side because the style is going to be kind of to one side and then you just tie a knot with the other two sides again and a third time and then simply get a pin and then you're just gonna oh where's the pin it's running away come back there we go get the pin and pin it down and as you can see i pricked myself standard procedure this is why i hate using pins and i never use pins pretty much anyway okay then you take the other bit and then just loop it through one of like the first big knot that you did and then yeah simple just adjust it and you've got kind of like a bit of a flower thing going on on your head 
okay so you just do it just like that and how simple how chic was that and it literally took no time whatsoever to to do this style did it ta-da okay this without a pin by the way so right now I've taken the pin out and then all you'd need to do is the same process you put this underneath there and then took it in and then just also took this in as well so it's a bit secure and there you go you get pretty much the same kind of style without a pin oh crap Right, the next style then is similar to the one that we did just before. So you start off with at the front, but this time you tie a knot first and then you just do a little bow to one side and you get this really cute effect, which again, I think it looks really chic, really classy. Um, and it's so simple to do. And again, no pins or anything. So winner. focus right so this one's looking good and of course hashtag team extra I will reach out for my glasses my accessory <laughs> for my head <laughs> okay so there's that one again looks really really good needed to adjust that side bit it was kind of standing up a bit <laughs> but yeah really nice love this style as well it was looking a bit too pointy, so I just had to adjust that. If you like the point, then obviously you can leave it like that, but it was a bit too much point for me. There we go. Out comes the accessory, the head accessory. <laughs> Literally, there was one time when I went out and I just put the glasses on my head because it looked nice and it got n like to night time and it was still on my head because yeah, it just made the outfit. <laughs> okay. So... What is the next style? How many styles do I have left to go to, I think? Okay, so on to the next one. So we're going back to the, the front tying base, the one that you are now very much an expert at. Okay, so tie, adjust, pull through, all that good stuff. And then you're simply going to go ahead and make a bow at the front of your head like so and then you're gonna basically be tucking all those other bits away okay so you can it depends on how you tie it as to where you tuck things like depends on where the extra bits kind of come out typically you would be able to get away with tucking it the way that I've just done but sometimes you may need to like tuck into the the bows if you know what I mean um, just do what feels right when you're doing it basically okay and then once you've tucked the bits away then you need to fan out your bow and how cute is that and you can do this exact same thing with the bow on the side of your head you don't have to do it in the middle um, I think it looks great both in the middle and on the side so it is entirely up to you how you do it And on to the last style, which is again going to be using a, a chiffon scarf first. So you're just going to put the chiffon scarf on your head. You're not going to tie it or anything, just literally drape it on like that. Okay. And then you're going to take your chiffon, your square scarf in a triangle shape. <clears throat> and just tie it at the back 
and this is quite an extra style but I really like it so if you were maybe if you were gonna have a photo shoot or you were just really feeling extra or brave or whatever then this style would be so cute to rock um so that's it and if you wanted it to look more like hair then you could wear like a brown scarf underneath or like black or whatever um but yeah this is just like a really like I said extra I keep using that word but it is it's quite extra because obviously the chiffon scarf is quite long down your back but yeah hope you enjoyed it guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I'll catch you in my next one leave suggestions down below for what other videos you'd like to see from me yeah.